Hey what's going on guys, today I will show you how you can add Google map on your WordPress website. So if you want to add your contact location on your website, you can easily do that just by adding a Google map. Today we will see how easily we can do that by using the Elementor page builder. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay. By the way, if you don't know what Elementor is, basically it's a plugin where you can create your website just by drag and drop. And if you are not still using it, I obviously recommend you to use it instead of the default WordPress editor. So here you can see I have already installed this plugin and there is also a paid version of that which is the Elementor Pro. But in today's tutorial, we are not gonna go into that. We are gonna only using the free version of it and you get this plugin from my description box. So after installing and activating this plugin, if we go to our pages and I have created my contact page and here you can see this big blue button for editing this page with the Elementor Builder. So let's click on this. Alright, so here you can see I have already created my contact page and adding some content inside this by using the Elementor page builder. So right now, if we go to on the left editing panel, you can see here are a lot of widgets which you can use to add different kind of elements inside your page. So right now I want to add a Google map on the right column of this section. So here you can see here is a widget for adding the Google map. So let's drag it right here and our map is added. You can change the location of the map from the option right here. So let's type our location here. And you can see our location is added inside this map with this location icon. And you can also zoom in or zoom out the location from the zoom option. So let's make it 12. And here is also the option for adjusting the height of the map. So let's make it height to 410. So right now if you want to design this map, you can also do that. Let's go to the style option for this map. And here you can see some several options for changing the map's hue, saturation, contrast, brightness, all and everything from here. So if you change its hue, you can see this map is changing its color on different hue range. And if you want to make your map to fully black and white, you can also simply do that by making the saturation to zero. Okay? But right now I want to keep it to the default one. And here if you want, you can also change the filtering option for your hover state. Okay? So right now our maps looks really cool. But here I want to show you how we can also add a full width map inside your page. So right now I want to add a full width map between these two sections right here. So let's first add a new section by clicking on this plus icon. And like before, if we again go to this widget area and drag this Google map widget, you can also change the map options from right here. So right now, if we want to make this map to full width, we need to go to the section settings by clicking on this. And for the section, here you can see the option for the content width. Let's make it to full width. Okay. But here you can still see some gaps at the edges. So to remove this gap, we need to go to the column gap options and make it to no gap. So right now I want to increase its height. So let's click on this edit icon for this map and make its height to 450. Right now if we click update and preview our page, here you can see the maps are successfully added inside our page and when your user comes to your website, they can easily get your location by seeing this map. So you can see how easily we can add a map inside our website. So that's it for today and if you want to see my full tutorial of how to make a website from A to Z, you can check my other tutorial where I have shown you everything in step by step. 
Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.